up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat 11 6 Scale Sub-Zero Special Edition figure. Now they already previously released this figure but Storm Collectibles re-released it again as a Special Edition version which has bloody accessories that come along with the uh, Sub-Zero figure. Now I must admit I'm definitely excited about having this because I already had the Scorpion one which is an awesome figure. Now this is based on the uh, Mortal Kombat 11 video game too as well which I do have on the PlayStation 4 this is an awesome video game by the way and again this is based on like Sub-Zero's like classic look in the game because he has like another look in the game too as well but anyway I'm going to get into this right now as you can see there's the box that contains the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero figure now this is how you can tell that it is a special edition version too it does say special edition right there at the top now one of the things I did admit, I forgot to mention in the Scorpion one was that this was available apparently only at a uh, Big Bad Toy Store I think it's another store that is available too as well I think like if Storm Collectibles has an official site I think it's there but this is only really available at a uh, Big Bad Toy Store like the special edition version of the uh, figures the Mortal Kombat figures so as you can see it has an image of Sub-Zero right there on the front and it does say a six scale Sub-Zero figure Mortal Kombat 11 at the top has that on the side too, Sub-Zero even at the top of the box too as well uh, underneath and of course you can see like the image of the figure on the back and the accessories that he has right here because it does just say uh, Sub-Zero on it so I'm going to get into this right now and this right here is the background that comes with the uh, Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero figure you can see this is like another shot of the figure with the accessories and this has a uh, two trays too as well like the uh, Sub-Zero figure and this where is like the uh, other accessories that he come in and this has like the special edition versions of the uh, accessories that he comes with so I'm going to take this on out first step I want to talk about the stand and how you assemble it too as well now this special edition version of uh, the Sub-Zero figure from Storm Collectibles it has like a blue translucent stand because I think the original version of it just has like a clear like a uh, tra uh, translucent stand whereas this one has like a blue stand which kind of represents like his, I guess you could say freezing abilities or ice like abilities <laughs> which is kind of cool then you get like this uh, waist grabber type thing right here and you get two of these too as well now as you can see one is like smaller than the other one because I already prefer like the larger one then of course you have this piece right here too as well which attaches to this right here once you hook it into the stand and of course you know you just take this and then you just uh, plug it right on into the uh, and whichever uh, way you want to like if you want to put it like in the middle or on the side and this goes up and down right here to this ratchet thing this also opens out too And you know you can slide it like up and down and so on. Then of course you know you just take it and just push it on like in here like that, which wherever you want to put it. And again this goes up and down. It's kind of tight, you know. What it does I go up and down. And they also have this piece right here too as well. I think what you do then is take this and then you just uh you, know, you stick that on out like that, that particular piece right there. And if you hear it has like that ratchet type sound, then you could choose whatever one you want to hook on to it. Like I choose this particular piece because it's the large one. And then it just goes right on there and there it go. And you can turn it all kind of ways you want to. You can go up and down and so on too as well. It's kind of like a dynamic type stand, but as you can see, that's how it looks. <laughs> and now for the uh, Storm Collectible Sub Zero figure himself. Take him on up. Yeah, you heard it does look like good too. Yeah, as you can see, he has all this plastic on, which I like to take off. Yeah, I really am impressed with these. I think these are awesome. From all uh, Storm Collectibles. 
And this is still like, well, this is my second foray into that like, line of figures. Ha uh, so yeah, as you can see, here he is. And he's stand too, as well. I'm getting, having no trouble getting the stand. <laughs> now what I want to do is measure the figure. And Sub-Zero is uh, right at 12 inches. So what I do now is talk about the likeness and the articulation to the, uh, the, the character. So as you can see, this is how he looks. So of course you can see he does have like that, that bloody scar on his eye because you know he had that in part 3 of uh, Mortal Kombat but he was unmasked on that particular version because if I'm not mistaken that was supposed to be the, the, the Sub-Zero from the original Mortal Kombat game because he had that scar but it still has his mask look too as well and that's pretty cool I think this is using like the same skull from like a uh, Scorpion 2 they just painted like a scar on his eye and so on. And this is how his material look too as you can see like, up close. And of course it's just like fabric like material. Even like kind of around here like he has like this skirt too as well. Like even on the back. Then he has like these uh, arm braces too. Now I do notice like with my scorpion figure. I think these are kind of like uh, kind of rubbing the paint somewhat if you're moving around. Because they're kind of loose. So I think you should be kind of careful when you're like moving those. And of course he has like these gauntlets on, which can be, I think, removed if you want it to, if you just take off his hands. Because they are like a separate like piece. They're not like a sculpture or anything like this, actually like plastic. And of course like his legs are like cloth too as well. He also has like holsters right here for like some of the weapons that he has. And of course these are like his uh, feet right here as you can see. It's kind of similar to like the scorpion one except it's like blue. Now Sub-Zero's arms can go up like this. I think they can kind of go higher than that. And he can split down, of course. He has a bend in the knee. And it's actually like a double bend, so you can't get his, his leg all the way up to that level. And the arm does bend too. It's kind of a double bend, but I don't really think it is. But you can like bend his arms like that, as you can see. I like how the muscles look too right there when you do that thing, that's pretty cool. Because you can set the, the, uh, the veins in them and so on. Of course the hands can swivel too. The feet can turn too as well and, and rock and so on. Like, so you can get them all them different kind of like poses like with his feet. So I think that's pretty cool. He also can do an ab crunch too. To, uh, and he stands too, like when you give him in a position like that, he still to stay up. So I think that's pretty cool. Head can turn left, right, you know, you can kind of look up, you can look down. So it has good articulation in it. So I do think that uh, Storm Collectibles did a pretty good job on this figure. Now if anything, like with the Scorpion figure, what I think looks kind of bad, is like you can see how like the hinge is right there, like on their arms. But it's okay though. Cause you can even bend that up and you won't even really like notice it. But I do think that it's kind of uh, bad. Kind of from the back too. But not that it's a, it's a solid figure. And these are like six scale Mortal Kombat figures, you know. So I think that is awesome. Now if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat, uh -huh. Now I want to move on through the accessories that come with the uh, Storm Collectible Sub-Zero figure. As you can see, he has a total of... Uh, 10 interchangeable hands but like 8 separate alternate hands if you count like the uh, these rare and you count the 2 fists that you already had on because that's what made them 10 hands so as you can see this is how the hands look you get a, a left and right hand like this you can tell like an accessory can go in these two then you get a uh, I like that they give you two of the same, like a left and right, you get these kind of hands too. You can tell like a grip or something can, go, something can go in these particular grips. Then you get uh, these, like a left and right of these. Then you got this open, like relaxed type hand, which is like for his right hand. Then you got this particular hand too as well. Then up next, probably like the coolest accessories from my opinion that he has are the uh, ice blast effects. 
and you give them two of these, as you can see. Ta! Now these, I must admit, these do look very cool, cool, because it has like this translucent, like a bluish, like look to it, like ice look to it. Let me show it up close. It looks real nice. You can set the hand print on here where you would stick the uh, the hand that will hold this. Like there's it right there. I don't know if it shows up well. You can see that's where you would put like his hand in. But I can say it really is a beautiful piece, and you get two of these for like his left and uh, right hand. So I think that's kind of awesome. You can see I took uh, one of Sub Zero's like hands off and put like the uh, the frost blast on it. I'm gonna submit it. Uh, it does hold it pretty well. It looks like it doesn't stand when you put like his thumb in it, like it was kind of falling off. But he does hold it up if you just keep like uh, the four like fingers on it. It does. He does like hold it up. But as you can see, that's how it looks though. It's a cool effect too. I must admit. I do notice like it kind of weighs him down, but he he still uh, stands uh pretty good though. It's like no problem with it. <laughs> Then up next, Sub Zero gets uh, four spikes, they're calling them. And it's like the Kunai, though. But you get like four of these. As you can see, this is how they look. They also have like these uh, these holes in them, like you can put like a chain in it or something like that. And like, you can tell like something can like go on it. Like he can actually have his own like spear, like Sub Zero, if you want. The way it looks, you can tell you can put like a string or something through it. But yeah, you get a. Uh, Four of these. Another thing too about these two, I'm gonna touch on. You can also take these, and he has like these holsters around like his feet. I mean, around his shoulder. I mean, a uh, waist area, as you can see. Like Sub Zero has like these right here, like these holster things. You can take the other uh, spikes and slide them inside these right here. Cause you can set the loops for them too as well. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, try one. Yeah, I think they just go in like this. And I think it's space for like two for each side. So as you can see, that's how they, they would look right there. I don't know if I'm getting it good. But they go right in like that. And you can apparently, uh, it's like space for like two of them from what I'm seeing. Depending on how you put it in. Then up next, Sub-Zero gets the, uh, the Frost Axe. Or it's like, I guess you could say Frozen Axe. And this is how it looks. It looks pretty cool and it's like plastic, like a hard plastic, but it's like translucent too as well as you can see. Looks pretty cool. I don't think this is going to host around because like those like waist straps are too tight on, I think. Then he gets like this uh, translucent uh, spine and skull, which is awesome. I'm glad they gave us something like this. Because you know Sub-Zero has been doing this since the original Mortal Kombat. Putting out their skull and spine, and that's pretty cool. Now, on to what makes this the special edition version. You have a um, a bloody version of the axe. The special edition version has that like, this bloody version of the uh, the frost axe or the ice axe, as you can see right here. It's pretty cool looking too. It has blood all over. It. And that's awesome. Then you get a uh, a bloody uh, spine too, as well as like the head spine. This one's like blood, as you can see. So you get like two accessories that make this like the special edition version of Sub Zero. That's pretty cool too. If you want them like bloody, you got one bloody, then you got one just like simple. So I do think that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. I just wanted to show how he looks with like a like one of the weapons in his hand, like the axe. I could even put the spine in there. Just giving an example. Now I must admit these hands are very difficult to like pull off. There's no question you have to like, oh I would definitely suggest don't just pull it off because you probably break it. You better like loosen it with like a hair dryer or a blow dryer. Like you know really get that warmed up and then you can pull that hand off because it, it's very hard to cover off. I've been hearing other people saying that too as well. But yeah that's how you, it looks like an axe in his hand. <laughs> what I want to do is compare the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat 11 6 scale Sub-Zero Special Edition figure with the uh, Scorpion figure and this is the Special Edition one from Storm Collectibles. Both these are 6 scale figures. Now I'm going to submit 
it does like sub zero is a little taller than a scorpion, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of looks like it just a little bit, but I do know I have his layers kind of bent. But I still be these are some awesome figures, and these are from like Storm Collectibles. And this is my first foray into the uh, company of uh, Storm Collectibles because I always did have my eyes on picking up their particular figures, and I knew it probably would be like a Mortal Kombat uh, figures if I ever did because these two do look very awesome to get. I would definitely recommend these. <laughs> Okay, there's the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat 11 6 scale Sub Zero Special Edition figure. This is an amazing and an awesome figure. I would definitely recommend picking these on up if you could find them. Because again, this was originally released by Storm Collectibles, but they had re released this particular figure as Special Edition. Now, I picked this up at Big Bad Toy Store, even like the Scorpion version. Like the special edition version of Scorpion, I forgot to mention that in the Scorpion one. But uh, yeah, I think they are available if the Storm Collectibles has their own website. I think they are available there if I'm not mistaken. I know it's like at least one more, I think, where you can get the special edition versions of these. But these are were at a Big Bad Toy Store. And again, this is based on a Mortal Kombat 11, which I do have available on PlayStation 4. A very awesome game. I think one of the best Mortal Kombat games, like India, uh, the franchise. But yeah, uh, this is an awesome figure. I like the uh, the accessories that he has. If anything, like his hands, like they're kind of hard to remove, so you would definitely have to warm them up and so on to actually remove the hands. And other than that, you know, I guess like his arm joints, they look kind of like bad because you can see the hinge joint the hinges on them. So I think that kind of makes them look kind of bad. But I think it's still like an awesome figure. And this is my first foray, or second foray, not been that I have. Sub Zero now, the first one was Scorpion, until like Storm Collectibles figures, because I know they also do like Street Fighter figures too, as well. So, yeah, I think this is an amazing and awesome figure. I uh, definitely recommend picking this on up if you can find it. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too, as well. Flawless victory. <laughs>